Today on Jerry's Kitchen, I am actually learning how to make something from my mother. Hi, Mom. Hi. Hi. And we're making lentil soup. Lentil today. soup. So, lentil soup. It's very good for you. Um, so, let me show you what you need. So, a bag of lentils green and lentils. Green, green lentils, okay? And uh, you're going to put them in a colander like this, okay? Other things you will need. You will need chicken broth. You're going to need a can of crushed tomatoes. And you'll need a couple spices. One of them is cumin. And the other one is coriander. And um, you need some bay leaves. And also some thyme. But she calls them thyme, but it's actually thyme. Thyme. And also... We're going to use some sausage, and the kind of sausage you want is... I use a turkey kibasa, but right now we're using... We don't have that, so we're using smoke, because William ate what we were supposed to use, because he was too hungry, so we have to use other sausage. Okay. And Himalayan pink salt is what we're using, but you can use regular salt if you don't have that. And you will need a bag of baby spinach. And it. apple cider vinegar, you'll need one tablespoon. But since we have some special vinegar, we're gonna use this, which I got as a gift. It's called garlic and basil vinegar. And you're probably not gonna have this, but that's what we're gonna use today. But you can use this, or you can use lemon juice, or you can use lemon regular juice. vinegar if you yeah. have that. Um, you need to cut up some carrots. Two carrots. Two carrots. How many celeries? Um, about three stalks. Three stalks of celeries. Half, an, half of a large onion. And half of an onion. Of a large onion. Large onion. And just put them all together. Rinse them with water. You clean them. Mm -hmm. Okay, we haven't done that yet though, yes, right? Oh, you did. She did it. She did that step already. So no, she... They're dry. Oh. We didn't do it, so we have a helper. Marta is going to help with rinsing those lentils. Marta, you're going to be on YouTube. Sí. Mira, está lavando los... Lentejas. Los, sí. ¿Cómo se dice en, en español? Lentejas. Lentejas. Okay. While she's doing that, you're going to get a big pot like this and put some all, good old olive oil on the bottom and heat it up because you're going to be um, sauteing these vegetables. It looks like it's hot enough. So we're going to pour these in now. Ready? Oh yeah, it's already sizzling. You want to do that for how long, Mom? About six, to six minutes until the onions are glazed, are translucent. Okay. All right, so that's what we're going to do. So once this is done um, in about you know five, six minutes, next you're gonna take about four cups of this chicken broth, which I already poured one in here, it's four cups, and just pour it in. Okay, we no I didn't. Okay, correction. We're gonna use all the chicken broth. Eight eight cups. So I'll do that in a minute. Okay, you're gonna put all of this, all of these lentils in also. So these are going in. Well, wow, there's some left over. I'll scrape those in later. And you're also going to put in your tomato. One can, okay. of, crushed One can of crushed tomatoes. Okay. And I'll open that and put the rest of this in. So it's really eight cups of this. Okay. Mom has cut up all the sausage, and now we're going to put those and in next. Small, small, small um, chunks. Pieces. Just going to drop all those in there. Bite size. Yes. Mm -hmm. And also, we're putting two bay leaves in. Just two, right? Two. Okay. So, she just put in a teaspoon of cor coli coriander. 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 Okay, one teaspoon. We're also going to be putting in basil, thyme, and cumin. Those a, are the four spices. A tablespoon spices. of each one. So, a tablespoon except a teaspoon. Is that a teaspoon? A teaspoon of that one. Okay, yeah. teaspoon, and the rest are tablespoons. So, you don't need to wait for it to boil to put them in. You can just put them right in there. 
And we had a little boo-boo right there. <laughs> and how long does it take to, for this to cook? Uh, 30 to 40 minutes after it starts boiling, you turn it down and simmer. 30 to 40 minutes. After okay. The lentils are soft. Okay, so we're going to... we're going to make it creamy, and there's a little trick to that. Oh, okay. So we're still have little secrets that we don't know yet. So we're going to wait for it to boil. And then when it boils, then we simmer it, lower the heat and simmer it for 30 minutes. 30 Do we 40. cover it? Uh, Semi-covered, actually. Semi-covered. Cover if you have a lid, you just kind of put it, kind of leave a little space for it to breathe. Okay. We two. are adding the salt also. Just a little bit. Crush it in there. We have, you could use regular salt, but this is uh, using, sea salt, right? I'm using a, the yeah. Himalayan pink salt. So now we're going to add the vinegar, the special vinegar. I'm actually going to put a little more. We're going to put a little in. more since yeah. it's so good. It's so good. Mm. All right. And we're, now that it's boiling, we're going to turn it down. Turn it down. And we're going to let it simmer. How about right there? A little bit, even a little bit less. Less? Just, yeah. yeah. And then, and then we're going to kind of cover it like, mm, not yeah. totally. Just let the, let it cover it, but leave some holes in there. This, this and we're cutting up the spinach. I cannot show you the knife, though, because last time YouTube cut my video because there was a knife in it. Oh, I can see the knife. Maybe they'll cut this one. Anyway, you want to cut up the spinach a little bit. So it's been 30 minutes. What do we need to do? We need to... Uh... See if it's soft enough. Um, let me have a small teaspoon. All right. We are testing the soup. After 30 minutes of cooking, is it ready? All right. The lentils are soft, so they're they're cooked. Okay. Great. So now what we're going to do to make it creamy. I'm going to take a couple cups of soup. I'm going to take the meat off. All right. And put it in. This time we'll get a little more juice. Juicy. Take the obvious meat. Just take that out. So there can be some meat chunks. But yeah, this, but okay. if you see them. So about that much. Why are we doing this? Uh, to make it creamy. Okay, you don't, you don't do have it. to do it. You don't have to do this. It's a little extra step. Extra step. Just like that. Mm. Now you have a little bit of a, of a, of a paste, you see? Oh, yeah. Put that back in there. It'll bring, it'll bring out more flavor of the lentils also. That's very good. I don't know if you want to try. Mm. I'll leave it up to you. It really is up to the person. They like it salty or less salty. Well, it needs a little more salt. It's, it's uh, kind of more like what flavor, like her flavor. I'm okay. going to put a little bit of pepper. Got some pepper. simmer a little bit more because I, I tasted the lentil that was not yeah. quite as soft. So maybe about cooking. 10 more minutes? Yeah, we'll leave it cooking. All right. Another 10 minutes. Well, we can put the spinach in now. Oh, yes. So we don't have to do this, but we're adding spinach to the soup. This is spinach? another extra. Oh, you dropped spinach something. Spinach or kale? Or kale. Oh, okay. I did. Mini, I mean, Raja, go eat it. Come on, eat it. Eat your spinach. Grass? What's this? Eating grass? It's good to have dogs when you're cooking because they can clean up after you. <laughs> so, the dogs are cleaning that up. And we're putting the rest of the spinach in there. We'll just mix it and in. Yeah, mix it in. And then I guess another 10 minutes and that'll be done, right? Yeah, 10 minutes and will be done. Okay. And we're done. 
Mm -hmm. And you have a big pot of lentil soup and we put some sausage in here for you meat eaters. And man, look at that. You're gonna enjoy it. Your friends are gonna enjoy it. Your family's gonna enjoy it. So you just saw the live version of me learning how to make lentil soup and it turned out great. Remember, you can change it any way you want as long as you perform the basic steps of uh, boiling your soup and um, adding the tomato sauce and of course the chicken broth. But you can add any uh, other spices that you want. Your crushed pepper if you like spiced. Um, or you could just keep it plain. So anyway, good luck, enjoy. I'm glad that you learned how to make lentil soup.